Okay, so in this video, we will review a well-known fact about the slopes of lines that intersect in a perpendicular fashion. And sometimes you will hear the word orthogonal instead of perpendicular. They are synonyms of each other. So orthogonal is a synonym of perpendicular. So here's the situation. Suppose you have a line in the xy plane. You can consider its slope. The slope, of course, is the derivative dy over dx. And suppose it is equal to m in this case. Consider now a second line that intersects the first in a perpendicular fashion. So at the point of intersection, the two lines form a 90 degree angle. And you can ask what is the slope of this line as a function of the slope of the original line. What you hopefully should remember is that the slope of this line is the negative of the reciprocal of the slope of the first line. So it is simply negative 1 over m. And that's it. Now the idea is, how can we use this fact about lines being perpendicular to curves being perpendicular? Well, if you think about it, it's a very natural extension. Consider the following picture. Suppose you have a curve like this. So we'll call this curve number 1. And then a curve that looks like this. We'll call this curve number 2. Now you can see at the point of intersection, the curves seem to be making a 90 degree angle. How can you be sure? Well, of course, this will be by looking at the slopes of their respective tangent lines. If you look at the tangent lines to both curves at the point of intersection, they should be forming, if the curves are indeed perpendicular to each other, the tangent lines should be forming a 90 degree angle. And that's the test. So you look at the slope, of the tangent line to the first curve, of course the slope is dy over dx, and if you evaluate your derivative at the point of intersection, you will obtain a fixed real number, the slope of the tangent line. If you find the tangent line now to the second curve at this point, the slope again is the derivative of curve 2 now, and if you evaluate the derivative at the point of intersection, you will obtain, of course, a constant value, being the slope of the tangent line to the curve at this point. And if the curves are indeed orthogonal to each other, their tangent lines must be perpendicular to each other, and so the slope of this line will be negative 1 over the slope of the first tangent line. So you can naturally extend the notion of two lines being perpendicular to two curves at their point of intersection being perpendicular to each other simply by their tangent lines being perpendicular to each other. And this will be very useful in our next two videos.